Stop using Saber like this and start using it like this. I'm going to teach you all the best ways to use the free Saber plugin on text inside of After Effects so your next edit can look professional. All right, first up, we're going to be cranking up the energy by using two Saber layers to add depth, motion, and to add the extra wow to your text. Add your text into your comp and then right click, click new and click on solid and then name it Saber and click OK. Real quick, we're going to change the color layer just so we can stay organized. On that Saber layer, we're going to go over to effects and presets and we're going to type in Saber. Grab that Saber and put it on your solid layer. If you guys don't have Saber, it is a free plugin by Video Copilot. I'll leave a link in the description to go download it and then come back to this tutorial. Go down to customize core, core type, and we're gonna change this to text layer. And then on the text layer, we're just gonna select whatever layer is your text, which is number two. Bada bing, ow, oh, jeez. Don't freak out, don't freak out. It's the biggest piece of dog shit. Easy fix. We're gonna start up at the top with the presets and we're gonna click right here and you can see all the presets, but for this case, we're gonna use neon. Down at the glow color, this is where you can choose whatever first color that you want. In our case, we're gonna do a darker blue. You can click OK. Next on the glow intensity, we're gonna change this to 40. Then we're gonna go down to the core size and we're gonna change this to three. Now Saber has a bunch of cool presets, but the problem is, is a lot of them just look. New face filters on Instagram today. This is my favorite one so far. I'm gonna show you how you can use it in a very clean, modern, stylistic way. To add that secret sauce, we're gonna go down to flicker and then we're gonna change the flicker intensity to 15 and then we're gonna go down to the flicker speed and we're gonna change this to 25. If you want to make it transparent we just go down to render settings and then on the composite set, set, blah, 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 blah. on the settings we're gonna change this to transparent. Now the black background is gone and now you can see our actual text but in this case we're gonna use just the saber so we can actually hide the actual text. But we're not done yet. Now the real sauce is we're gonna be adding a second layer of this. Click Control D to duplicate it and then on this layer, we're gonna be changing the secondary color. So we're gonna go up to glow color. And then our case, we're gonna, I'm just gonna pick green, like a green and blue. You guys can use any two colors that you want. Here's a couple of different variations of colors if you guys need to be inspired. Real quick, we're just gonna name this Saber 2. We stay organized. Now the real magic happens down here in the customized core. Go down to the start offset and we're gonna type in 50 offsets the actual saber so now if you put it to 50 percent, it obviously only shows half of the saber next we're going to be having the green be animated so we want to have the front of it be a little bit bigger than the back to add a little bit more variation we're going to go over to start size and we're going to change this to 150 so this go down to end size and we're going to change this to zero we can make this a little bit more of like a rounded front so we're going to turn this up to one now a beginner to an intermediate on how they would animate it is, is probably just go over to the mask evolution and put a keyframe here and then go ahead in their timeline and then change this number so now it slowly animates i'm going to show you a even better so way gonna head over to the mask evolution little stopwatch and we're going to hold down alt and then click on the stopwatch this will open a little expression tab don't get too scared it's super simple all we're going to type in is time times negative 30 and then just click out Boom, done. So now your saber will be animated throughout your whole entire composition without even having to touch the keyframes. Now that is how you create professional looking saber text inside of app. Wait, more sauce? I got you. The next secret sauce that you can add is a text animation. All you have to do is just find whatever text animation you want. And if you drag it onto your text layer, you can add that extra secret sauce with some cool text animations. I'm using a text animation from my new Typeflow text animations pack. It comes with over 30 plus clean, high quality animations and 10 dope text effects you can drag and drop into your edits. Super easy to use, no crazy setup, and it'll instantly make your titles look way more polished. If you guys are interested, I have a limited time sale on my store right now where it's buy one, get one 60% off. So go buy them before the sale ends. The link will be in the description. If you guys do buy them they'll support me greatly and help me make more videos like this if not no worries i appreciate you just watching this video more techniques okay let's do it next technique is we're going to be having the saber react to audio <laughs> 
So with your saber text, all you want to do is just find whatever audio or music you want. And then we're going to put it on the top layer on your audio. We're going to right click on it and then go over to keyframe assistance and then convert audio to keyframes. Now you'll pop up this new red layer. Click on the little drop down, go down into effects. And then now we have the left channel, right channel and both channels. For our case, we just want the both channels. So we're going to highlight the left and right. And then we're just going to delete those. We're going to open up the both channels. So we see this little slider to make this simple we're just going to hide one of the saber layers the top one and just be having the bottom one next we're going to click t on our keyboard to open up the opacity and then we're going to all hold alt and then click on the little stopwatch inside the expression we're just going to type in value plus head over to the little pick whip tool and drag this to your slider next just click out of that over onto your slider we're just going to click on it and you can see all of these keyframes. And then if you click on your little graph editor, right click, make sure you are on value graph. You'll see all these little keyframes of the audio visuals. Now, our main objective is we want to have the low values be at zero opacity and have the high values in the audio be at 100 opacity. All we need to look for is just kind of like a low value that we want to have it be at zero percent, which I would say it's kind of like in this area right here from five to about 15. Zero opacity would probably be at about 15. And then at the high values at 100 opacity, I would want it to be at about 35. So anything above 35 will be at 100% opacity. All this is confusing. Don't worry, just follow along. We'll get through this. Next, we're just gonna go out of your graph editor. We're gonna hold down Alt and then click on the little slider drop down. And this will open up the expression type in is linear open parentheses the first number is just our low value in our graph which is 15 and then we want to put in our next high value so comma is 35 then comma and now for 15 we want it to be at zero percent so we're gonna put a zero for opacity comma and then 100 for full opacity and then we're just gonna click out of that pause the video i forgot to add a simple part of the expression now if you followed me you probably would have messed up and seen this little expression indicators i forgot to add in so on linear in the open bracket we're gonna click right in inside the open bracket and we're gonna type in value and then add a comma like this now if you click out of it everything will be good <laughs> we love expressions brother the next step is down on your saber layer on the opacity at the beginning just click on this and drag so it's at zero percent and let go now if you play it back if you don't want it to be fully off the opacity all you have to do is just change this from zero to about like 25 percent now if you want to add in the second layer it is as simple as just opening it up clicking on T, clicking on the opacity and doing the same exact steps of just clicking value plus, and then dragging this to our slider and then changing the opacity right here to whatever number is on your other saber. I got plenty of secret sauces. Just let me know which one you want to learn. That brings us to the end of the video. If you guys want to see more videos like this, all you got to do is just drop a like, subscribe, and comment down below what other tutorials you guys want to learn. On that note, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Ooh.